So you're in here when Coach mentioned that he believes that the team can win out these next nine games and give themselves a shot. Is that the feeling in the locker room? Oh, absolutely. You know, we still believe in ourselves. You know, those first two games, you know, clearly was not our best performances, but we still we're in a position to win them, you know, so we, we're going to make the, the proper changes. And, you know, I was on the team in 2019 when we went on a run, and I feel like we have all the tools in the locker room to do it again, you know, so I feel everybody is still in, a, in good spirits. You know, it sucks that we lost, but, you know, we look ahead and we're still excited for the future. Was there something that switched between week two and week three in 2019 that you can kind of go back on maybe mentally to look forward here for the, this run? I think it's just, you know, every week it's it's do or die, you know, so I think we just started focusing one week at a time. It's like we, our goal is to make it to the playoffs and we have to win out. And that was the feeling back then. And it, it, that's that's what it is now, so, you know, so we know we got to go 0-1 nine straight weeks, you know, so we're all focused on that, that singular goal. Is it, you know, the old adage, take it one game at a time, but is it, is it become a challenge to just focus on the one and not look at the big picture? Or is it easier than the situation just to focus on the next game at hand? Yeah, I think it just makes it easier. You know, now, obviously, we know nine games straight, it's, it's going to be tough, but uh, I think it's easier to just take it in bite-sized pieces, Folk, take it one game at a time, because that's, that's all we can control is how we prepare uh, each and every week. Looking back on the last game, what, what do you think you need to address most I think uh, just going back and watching film, it's just the, the tackling. There was a lot of big plays that we gave up that if we just, you know, wrap up, get to the ball more, that, you know, those plays are eliminated. And I know that's, that's an emphasis right now is to just get our tackling right, run, run through, and just tackle the way they're teaching us and not just relying on how we want to tackle, you know, tackle the way we're taught. How much that is a byproduct of not having a season last year, just not being in a game scenario? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, you look on both sides of the ball, uh, you know, there's rustiness everywhere. And, you know, we still got to work through it, but everyone's going through the same stuff, you know, so it's not really an excuse. We just have to be better.